over Apollo. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's Dante yeah, versus one. Virgil. <laughs> uh, Sonic versus Shadow. Uh, and is this, Mega is Man, this, Mega is Man this game versus Proto Man. Yeah, this is game Name one. Name your favorite started. rivalry. Game number one win this finals. PK boys. What's mm -hmm. gonna happen? So, I think, uh, has like, I don't know, really like established the fact that he's gonna be. Well, that was a weird PK Thunder. I don't know how to feel about that. You know? Um, but, but, uh, just seems to really want to initiate with double jump cancel, PK fires, what best cut onto that, and now he's getting properly under, uh, and able to just, like, starts to juggle him a little bit. Um, so yeah, Lucas, looks like they have a better disjointed tools to deal with Ness and Beetle here, so they can get their hits in a lot better than Ness can. That's just to rely on like things like PK fire. Yeah, I mean, look how look how confident Webb was that that was gonna be us approach every single time he goes through like an approaching full hop. He always goes through the double jump cancel back, uh, PK fire, um, and uh, and Webb just sat there and held his magnet, honestly. So so it's just something uh, has to be a little bit more mindful of, quite honestly. I don't think I intended to up smash in that direction. If he had up smash in the other direction, he could have potentially set up a shield break. Ooh, that was nice to clip up the neutral get up right there from the fire. Yeah, it's just knowing when the PK fire in this match right here is just gonna be the crucial part as that's one of their best tools to try to get an approach in. Mm -hmm. So Lucas's PK fire goes slightly longer than Nessa's does. Um oh the back still almost killing not not quite yet though. Maybe a little closer to the ledge. Get on the PK Thunder Skull right there. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Solid combo there from Wade. Yeah, that's also another thing I think uh, Lucas would do better in this matchup with, is like getting uh, those little straight hits and then converting off that just to, just to get a kill on him. Pretty good. But the gun up up smash is going to be able to take it. You see, uh, he knows that Lucas doesn't do a good job of initiating by uh, jumping up, except with those up airs. Oh my god. Ooh. Lucas's up airs just discount nest smash for up airs, honestly. That oh, misses it. Lucas just bonks you with his head like. Yeah, what else used to do? Oh, solid stock there from uh from Web Party mm -hmm. Sniping with DK Fire if I didn't see it. It's also pretty pretty good uh close to non-committal uh kill move right there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Web was really smart to the eye out on the dash attack because otherwise the dash attack does set up into a couple of footers, getting the drag down <laughs> up into up tilt, not able to find much else after that unfortunately. Um, but again, I feel like uh keeps like going back to like his old reliable habit of just going with these double jump cancel PK fighters on the platforms this entire game Ooh, so far. Combo. <laughs> and there at the end too, just to, just to predict something out, that was pretty good. It's a good of oh, not to panic there and like, get a roll out oh, just to, just as they were getting hit. Mm -hmm. This is a very dangerous, dangerous situation for uh, as Web is taking control of this game. Yeah. Look at all okay. that shield got you just baiting that grab out of shield, knowing that Lucas would probably low profile under the neutral as well. As well, that was brilliant. We we'll almost put him there. And yet yeah, he recovery. forced the low recovery. Yep, really, really smart. But Web is still going to be able to come back. Ooh, that yo-yo angle. That, that really faded oh like god. that? What? Do you understand? Do you? I, oh my god, I cannot wait to talk about what just happened. That because was that sick. was so ridiculously cool. I can't wait to just talk about that in a second. Oh, you get the eye from uh, right over avoid getting spiked from that down there. Yeah. Well, let's and go, this is, Lucas. This is, this is the web stock to take right now, but uh, able to finally take it with the neutral layer. Never count Ness out. He has the ability. Okay, never mind. Nice. I guess count Ness out. I guess count Ness out. This is like okay. shooting. So, let me about talk about, about let me talk about why that interaction was so darn cool. Okay, so what happened was Spit. Lucas, uh, Lucas going with a PK Thunder at that angle, and by holding down, obviously that's a beefy up B over the ledge. You're able to miss the ledge and you're able to go past it because of how big the PK Thunder is, hitbox is on Ness. I mean, I'm on both Ness and Lucas. Um, if you're able to slide past the ledge, you're still able to hit them as you were going up, even if you're sliding slightly away. 
And what happened oh, okay. was Webb got hit by one of the charge hits, but then his PK Thunder hit connected, hit um, Ah, but then the P the charge hit of Yo Yo knocked him out of tumble and just and just put him back into a standstill, and he was able to land on the stage because oh, of the way his hurt box shifted. That was such a cool interaction. God, I love the PK kids. It is so cool. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty sick. Uh, that was All awesome. Right. Pike. I'm good. I'm good. All right. I keep moving my mic a lot. Ooh. All right, game number two. I don't, I don't think you guys understand how, how much I, I, I like Ness. Uh, and Lucas. These characters are cool. They're good boys. But Ness is a better boy. Show that bias. Mm -hmm. As we move on to game number two, Kalos. Please. Mm -hmm. Opting for the flat stage, I feel like uh, like Kalos <laughs> is much, much easier for Nest to be able to catch Lucas's landings. And we already saw that multiple times with Uzz's use of PK Fire here. Oh, man. Yo, yeah, I'll do a better job right here maintaining that stage control. Mm -hmm. Good fall down forward, dude. Forcing the PK Thunder to cover you, but Webb is gonna go through the bouncer oh, once again. Got a little longer. Uh, actually, not at all. Oh, yeah. um, because what happened was, uh, all ran out of the charge hits oh, yeah, for yeah. the yo yo because they only last for 1.5 seconds in total. Um, and so Webb was just, all uh, had to release the yo yo and then start it again if you really did want to be able to hit Webb out of it. Yeah, that's probably on uh, for timing that situation, but uh, oh, sniped again with the PK fire. That's a pretty good tool for Web to have in this match. Oh, uh, probably has to like recover lower. Just to avoid getting clipped by that. These pokes. Uh, I feel like Web definitely had the right idea with his dash back, though. He dashed back a little, little bit too far, wasn't able to get there in time. He didn't want to push it. That, that, oh my god, that PK fire was brilliant. Otherwise, that up would have kept knowing that projectiles, of course, are going to be taking priority um, since yeah. it explodes on contact. Man. Web is before now. The situation is pretty good. As they're just boxing out. Ooh, with the kill right there. Just, yeah, but boxing out, uh, just a. Just a this is the winning situation right here. Oh, great. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow, Again, right I threw like... the upside. That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, he was just over the yo-yo hitbox. Um, and then was able to hit Nexus's big, fat, stinky head. Um, well, well, he was just charging through it. Nexus has a big head. You ever just look at him and be like, damn, that kid's got a big head. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a, it's half of his body. These little Jimmy U are just trying to hit each other in neutral. <laughs> But Web has a better time with, like, a kid in here, as I feel like they're more horizontal gaming here just to get these hits in. Plus, both characters are, like, same size as just like, small. Oh, that's Spike? Really? Okay, nice. Solid. Solid game, too, from Web. Call yeah, that Web a solid knows. game? Web... Solid game, too. That Web... Solid play from Web. <laughs> Web was so on top of, uh, oh my god. I'm geeking out right now just because Webb has so much mastery of his character. He understands his kit so well. I think one of the biggest like telltale signs of like that he has this much control over his own character is when in the air close to Ness, he went for, um, I believe it was like a wave bounce PK fire, knowing that yeah. it's okay that he, if you were to trade a couple of hits of the up air, because the projectile exploding on contact will take priority over whatever Ness is doing in the air. That was like yeah. this, that was that was that one exchange that I'm remembering so distinctly was amazing. Ugh. Yeah, Web is doing like a. I'm, I'm picturing a. You remember how Ness versus Lucas used to look? I mean, Ness like like Ness used versus like a sword character. Sorry, versus used to look. Uh, how the character with this choice is always like always like smacking Ness out of neutral. Making it harder for Ness to get the first hit in or any hit in general. Ness like, has to be kinda, much more reserved. This is the kind of matchup that Ness has to be much more reserved. Yeah. And I feel like Ness can be really explosive once he does get things going. But Lucas is the one that is able to have like the privilege in the sense of being able to jump on top of Ness. His aerials being so safe, his tilts being so safe on shield. While while Ness uh, might not be able to capitalize the same way. Yeah, I think uh, this time ago. Tough trying, <laughs> trying to, trying to deal with Lucas here. Mm -hmm. so. 
Go uh, almost way. getting the DJC Magnet into back hit, but unfortunately he was a little bit too close to the ground for that to be able to connect. This guy doesn't want to stay with the character though, as they move on to game number three. And this very quick uh, Winner's Finals looking at right now. Mm -hmm. Web is... Web looks like they're dominating this match right here. Potential 3 0 incoming. Also, uh, changes the game plan around and maybe can get a few hits in, get some kills in. A uh, boomed his jump and just barely Ooh, got back to the stage. Mm -hmm. Just barely had enough time to throw out that before it is. But again, he's burning his double jump so preemptively. Webb is just able to continue his pressure in the corner um, as a result. Um, but finally able to reassert the center stage with the falling back. A good aggressive option from Ah uh, once again. He's, he's being really patient on the platform, just going with the PK fire, just waiting for, for just the right uh, opportunity to be able to get in. That's gonna kill him with that first lock of the throw. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Recognizing that else bad, else is coming. Mm -hmm. Get up attacker right there. Good stuff to Web. Web just knows what they can get away with at the, at the moment. Mm -hmm. But gonna be landing onto Web Shield with the falling up in. Um, you know, you just have to throw out a move safe enough. That was a really good, uh, good commitment to up smash because Web did drop off of the ledge. He really couldn't do anything except maybe try to hit it with up in. Um, yeah, no. All kind of locking that uh, position. Yeah, it was good on um, uh, to take that stuff. I was gonna need a lot more of that just to. Uh... Played us a lot better than one of the game number four, potentially. Mm -hmm. I'll keep trying to use his double jump cancel PK if I were to start an interaction. Webb is simply not getting hit by it, and he uses it as a constant opportunity to get under uh, and to start juggling him and to start, you know, a bit of a combo. Yeah, Webb doing a good job of keeping uh, out, <laughs> not get hit as much. I was doing good too. It's just a matter of uh, not getting hit by Lucas's uh, jump into the to get that combo off. So, what you're basically saying is you shouldn't be getting hit. Just don't get hit. Easy. Just don't get hit, man. <laughs> 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 it's very rough, though. Lucas yeah. is like a lot better horizontal than that way here in this mm -hmm. country. Yeah, uh, that, that's without a doubt. Nice way to get back onto stage. Goes for the air directional air dodge above the ledge, able to actually get in between Lucas's hits of the down tilt. I think uh, Alec can get away with trying to break uh, Lucas's zone and trying to get a, a, a magnet confirm off of mm -hmm. Lucas jumping. Yeah, that's running. the up throw. Either uh, one would have uh, killed at that yeah. point. Uh, that was just already web stage right there. It was very tough to get back off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough hill to climb for uh as they're down to two stocks. Potential last game right here of the set. Being stuck on the platform like that with your back face towards Lucas as he's pressing That's buttons true. on your shield, you've absolutely correct. That is a terrifying situation to be in. There's so very few things that you can do. Because if you roll in, honestly, Lucas is still able to cover everything. He can cover the jump, he can cover you know just about everything you can throw out. Alright, that was nice from oh, right there to get the hit in. Mm -hmm. Drag now. Oh, good on uh, Paul. Uh, I'm glad to avoid that. Let's call him Paula. <laughs> uh, being really, really patient, seeing what Webb is gonna do. <gasps> oh, that platform. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. If he died because of nah, that. Nah, oh. really close to the ledge, so. Good on. Oh, to get that Nero. A very huge hit box right there just to get that kill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nero's really, really fast at 136%. The strong pivot is more than enough to be able to take the stock. Now we see, oh no, the actual air dodge off the stage. No, oh, not no, at all. No. His angles are impeccable. Yeah. Good job to web there for recovery. But finally, uh, is able Very to back on a little bit of damage. I don't think he intended to go for a dash attack. He might have wanted to run off forward. Um, Regardless, I feel like this is now anybody's game, but oh, it keeps fighting from the corner. He, he burned his double jump, forced to recovery low. Though uh, he did not get the two frame with the uh, 
Down smash. I feel like he he went through that move from like a little bit of a gap that's in the move, like right there. Yeah. Just so the basically, cover. what happens is uh, Nas gets the 82 flames of invulnerability on his PK Thunder. Oh, um, and so the, yeah. So the okay. only actual so why Lucas's down smash is so good at ledges because the hitbox is massive and it hits them before the 82 flame distance. But Nas, of course, has the invulnerability before it. Um, and then there's only like that really, really tiny two flame window, which is probably when uh, Webb was in between his multi hits. Oh, a <gasps> no! No, that's it. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's. Wow. That was an exchange right there. <laughs> Webb takes it. Yeah, Webb takes it. Really, really confidently. You good. <laughs> you 